Hey everyone, it's Jake with Jet Collectibles, and today I have a Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle of Chaos booster box. So I went by my local car shop tonight, and they were putting uh, this box out. Decided to pick up one to try. Uh, there's some pretty nice chase cards inside. Some sweet uh, Starlight rares, which are pretty hard to pull. Uh, about one in every, I think, 18 or so boxes. Uh, there also is a Dark Magician Ultra Rare. It is pretty tough to pull. That is uh, pulling big money right now. So we're gonna hope that uh, we can hit something nice out of this. I'm not a hardcore EVO opener or collector, but I enjoy opening some product from time to time. And uh, this one kind of caught my eye, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Shop is selling these boxes for eighty dollars, so uh, that's the price I paid. I think usually you get maybe two secret rares uh, per box. So we will see kind of what the pull rates are overall. Um, this set is, is different than others. Some are different, so I'm not positive on that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And starting off with a Libromancer Agent. I heard somebody say maybe the Dark Magician could be like in any slot, so I don't know uh, if that's the case or not. And we've got our first secret rare, Dino Morphia Domain. First secret rare. I don't think this is one of the more expensive ones, uh, but we will take our secret rare there. Got a Nordic Beast, Gulen Bursty. Cool looking card there. Dark Dimension Soldier. We've got an ultra rare of Soul and Luna. Ultra rare there. Make a stack for ultra rares. Usually maybe like four ultra rares a box, something like that, if I remember correctly, but like I said, I'm not sure the pull rates for this one. Got a, a dark the dark trauma? Gloomy? So if that's how you say it. They're telling me the Dark Magician was pretty tough to pull. I thought it was just a regular ultra rare, but they were telling me at the shop that it seems like it's one in every like, two cases or something, maybe. So it's not just a regular, I think, ultra rare kind of pull odds. I think it's a little bit tougher, a little short printed. Libromancer Intervention. Dinomorphia Reversion. Vision with eyes of blue. Oh, it's got some cool art there. I like that. Almost halfway there. And we've got a Timius Timius, the United Dragon Ultra Rare. Answer intervention again. And our last pack from the first half. A 
Nordic Smith Evaldi. Yeah, so it's kind of what I was thinking there. Typically, two secrets, four ultras, so that's kind of what we're on pace for. Unless we get something else, I guess. Maybe we'll take a spot of it. Ultimate Fusion. Super there. Dark Contract with Patient License. DDD Headhunt. Another ultra rare, we've got a vampire ghost. Okay. Alice, Lady of Lament. An Illusion of Chaos, Secret Rare, nice. So this is actually the most expensive Secret Rare, uh, I believe, in the set right now. Sitting around 30, 35 bucks or so. So that is a nice Secret Rare hit there. I'll take that for sure. White Relic of Dog Matica. So we got, I believe, four packs to go. Let's see what we can name. We've got a Ursarctic Radiation. All right, three packs left, so it seems like these packs might be dead unless you get a bonus if you get something else, but I'm guessing probably not. XY Z combine. Ice Jade Cradle. And our last pack here is going to be an impersonation invader and that'll do it so had a few nice pulls we got our four ultra rares here radiation vampire ghost united dragon soul and luna and then we've got our two secret rares with the dinomorphia domain and the illusion of chaos so that's definitely a nice hit there so definitely happy with that I uh, enjoyed breaking this box. Always fun to rip some Yu-Gi-Oh! and chase after some of those really hard to pull cards. Uh, maybe one day we can pull a Starlight or something like that. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, let me know what you think, and hope you have a great day.